I'm Alex Paul, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Talking Time Pieces, where we talk about watch collecting and horology. Today, let's take a look at one of the pieces out of the collection, um, the Longines Triple Date or Complete Calendar, depending on the terminology you want to use, uh, the Longines Moon Phase Calendar Column Wheel Chronograph is a very, very um, good value, a great value, and a very good looking watch. Let's uh, turn the camera around and take a closer look. Here's the Longines uh, Triple Calendar or complete calendar, triple date, whatever appellation you want to give it. But here we have the uh, Longines calendar, moon phase, chronograph. And uh, as I said, it's a very lovely piece. Unfortunately, you can see where uh, Longines cut corners to make this watch. But then again, uh, you really can't find this complication at a lower price as nicely done as what Longines does. Now, there are other companies who uh, offer a triple date moon phase of this roughly similar design, uh, like Baume Mercier, for example, and uh, the Swatch Group, uh, in their wisdom, somehow decided Baume Mercier um, was scaled higher in their hierarchy than uh, a company with a heritage like Longines, but, you know, um, I'm not the Swatch group. I think Longines stands on its own um, as a watchmaker, and it has its own very, very uh, laudable history. But uh, the fact that it's now just um, a uh, basic luxury, um, first-tier, expensive watch, um, it's kind of like doing it injustice because, I mean, we are talking about uh, $3,000 worth of watch here, um, so it's not a trivial expense. And also to find this uh, complication, as I said, at this price point uh, is very, very difficult. The Balma Mercier costs more and um, some of the other companies that are offering this complication, um, triple date moon phase chronograph, they just don't um, have the fit and finish that the Longines offers. Now, uh, if we look here, you see it's got applied uh, logo, the Longines logo, it's got applied indices. Um, that is the running seconds and the 24 hour indicator. And these are, of course, the uh, hour and minute totalizers for the chrono. Now we've got uh, month and day of the week here and pointer date. Now, this is the uh, essentially the value 7751. Uh, which is a variation on the workhorse value 7750. And, um, but what makes this version different is that uh, Longines is owned by Swatch, and Longines does have at least some um, legacy to claim, and it has some kind of a favored uh, status within Swatch. I, I don't say favored, but at least... Uh, they're able to ask for things and get it. Um, and as you see, this is a column wheel chronograph. Now, uh, anyone who really knows the Value 7750 family, they're all cam-operated chronographs. But for Longines, um, ETA makes a column wheel version of the 7751 just for Longines. Uh, I shouldn't say just for Longines. There might be somebody else out there with this um, movement from, you know, with a column wheel, uh, triple date moon phase, but this is a beautiful presentation. And the face, if you notice, look at that sunburst effect, very nice. Um, it has no loom on the hands, which is okay. That's one of the ways you can tell that they were trying to save uh, a buck because the way it's presented is as a luxury sports presentation and you would expect at least loom dots or a hint towards loom if only to see the light late at night from your hotel room. Um, yeah, let's Actually, let's pop off the uh, bracelet so that we can um, get a better look at the back. So um, there we have it without the uh, bracelet attached so we can get a closer look at this while we talk a little bit 
more about this uh, beautiful piece. Um, problem number 25 for watch collectors, the uh, spring pin shot into the air like the proverbial arrow one knows not where, um, <clears throat> but uh, I was able to find it luckily. The beautiful part about this is, as I was saying, it is a column wheel chronograph. It has a display back. It is water resistant. It's a Longines uh, Master Collection family member. Um, Longines is swinging for the fences with this as hard as they can, given their uh, budgetary restrictions. And they did a very good job, I must say. Um, God, let's get another zoom in on it at this angle. And uh, you can see the balance going away there. And um, the beautifully engraved rotor and the decoration. I mean, it's a really nice watch. Um, I mean, like I said, we're talking about $3,000 worth of watch. No matter how you slice it, even used, you're not going to get it for less than $2,500. So um, give it the respect it's due. Now, it did save money using an ETA movement. But like I said... Nothing under 10K is going to have an in-house movement with this complication. So let's just uh, drop that right there. Now, if you go to a higher level of uh, watch, you know, a um, mainstream luxury or a high-end luxury uh, watch, let's, you know, in the uh, 8 to 10,000 range, you know, this is in the 3 to 5 range. If you go to the 8 to 10 range, uh, 6 to 8 range, Baum & Mercier is slightly more nicely decorated the case. Um, you go higher up than that, and then you're starting to play with uh, in-house movements and um, plus 10K watches. So the Longines is a really, really um, good deal. It's not the greatest deal, but it's uh, probably the best bang for your buck that you're going to get um, in a Swiss watch from a reputable firm with a legacy and a heritage. So, um, yeah, you can't beat it with a stick. Now, where you can see that they've cut corners is the case is all one polish. The whole case is all one polish. They didn't bother to brush anything. So the case is all one polish. Uh, that's the uh, hidden pusher for um, the one of the date functions, I believe day of the week function. And uh, in fact, what we'll do is we'll do a quick uh, run through of the functions. Um, here, let's put it down and zoom in a little bit. And so um, you pull it to the first position and you get moon phase. If you look at the bottom dial, you can see the moon phase moving. There comes the moon. Right, so you have, and actually, that's a very nicely done moon with the uh, gold disc on the blue background with the stars. This is, like I said, a very attractive piece. And then if you roll it the other way, it changes the date. All right, moon, date, and then you pull it out all the way, and it changes the hour. Now, um, changing the date changes the month, and using the hidden pusher changes the day of the week, so it's not tedious to set. But see, it is a very, very, very attractive presentation with the applied markers and indices and logo, the uh, sunburst effect, the uh, gold moon, and um, the very nicely legible uh, month and day of the week. Now, um, let's get a couple of measurements, and then let's uh, throw it on the arm. <clears throat> We're looking at a 42. Lug to lug. Now, note that the uh, end links do carry, right? So um, there's the standard lug to lug of the watch which is uh, 49, and then um, when I put the other end on, we'll do a uh, total lug-to-lug, -lug including the end links, okay? Thickness, it's uh, 14 and change, 14.3, right? Which is about what you're going to expect for a watch 
this complicated, especially with a chrono function in it. All right, so uh, let's put the strap back on and do a wrist shot. So, we have the end links back on. Um, they are nice, solid end links. And then let's get a lug-to-lug, uh, -lug including the end links. So, it's a uh, 54 millimeter long um, with the solid end links. Uh, wristwatch check. I'm wearing my uh, Speedmaster on the standard um, metal bracelet. As you know, I love to throw these things on NATOs and all kinds of stuff, but um, I'm actually thinking about selling this because I have the Speed Sonic as well, and um, I have a Globemaster, and I'm going to buy a new, I shouldn't say a new Seamaster, I'm going to buy, um, I found a Seamaster GMT with the coaxial movement in the display back, and I'm buying that for the collection, um, for me, not for review or anything. And, uh... This actually, um, now that I'm reviewing it, I'm putting it up for sale because I like it, but not enough to keep it in the collection. Um, so if you're interested in it, it's on Chrono24. If you want a discount, let me know, and I'll give you a little bit off. Um, but as you see, it sits well on the wrist. The extended end links, because they curve downward sharply, um, even though they're, uh, they extend the length of the case, they help the fit because of the way they curve downward. And as you see, it has a nice um, slope to it, so even though it's a little on the thick side, it will slide easily under a cuff, because this is definitely what I would consider a suit watch or a um, polo shirt watch. Uh, although you could probably get away with it in a t-shirt and jeans, um, but uh, I wouldn't wear it with that. Now, uh, the bracelet does have some brushing. It's nicely done. It's got a double deployant, as you saw when I was uh, putting it on. And um, the brushed links help the uh, watch look less um, monochrome. So the brushed bracelet is definitely uh, worth looking at. I uh, also know that this is available on a blue leather. I'm thinking of just picking up a blue leather just to see what it would look like because I imagine it would help the face pop more if the bracelet were the same color. So um, that was the uh, Longines Triple Date uh, Moon Phase. A really pretty watch and a good bargain. So let's turn the camera around and uh, close out the episode. So, that was the Longines Triple Date Moon Phase Chronograph, Column Wheel Chronograph. You could arguably say in-house Column Wheel Chronograph. It's all owned by the same company. And um, all in all, a great bang for your buck. Like I said, you're not going to find a watch with this level of complication and finish for less than 5000 anywhere from just about anybody. I mean, you've got some nice pieces out there. For example, Sin's got a couple of nice uh, Moon Phase calendars, but... Uh, they're more sporting and not as pretty as this one. So thanks a lot for taking the time and please subscribe. It really, really helps and I appreciate it, okay? Thanks for being here and I'm glad you're part of the crew. Have a great day.